Bonjour, ça va? Good morning, y'all. Welcome to Cookie Doll Farm. I'm Rachel, and today I'm actually going to do a collab video with CCW Cooking. He's in France, and it's super cool. All right, I'm going to make his French apple tart, and he's going to make my American apple pie, and see how we like the difference. I think it's going to be amazing. I watched his video. I am super excited. Let's get these apples picked and head to the house and get this tart made. <laughs> Hey, hey y'all, welcome to Cooking on the Farm. I'm Rachel, and today I am taking the challenge of CCW cooking. He's gonna make my American style apple pie, and I'm gonna make his French apple tart. All right, so guys, this is a this is a cold run. I've never made this before, so we're gonna literally make it together and taste it and see how we like it. The ingredients sound amazing. We'll see how it goes. All right, I don't have breadcrumbs in the house. It's just something that I don't really have. So I'm gonna show you how to make breadcrumbs, throw them in the oven, toast up our own breadcrumbs. Let's get started. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take leftover bread. This is actually fresh. I bought this a couple days ago. It's just a heel that I don't like, but David likes the heel of the bread. Stick it in a blender and blend it till it's really small. Literally, you just dump them on, spread them out. You want them pretty thin. Put it in a 350 degree oven. You gotta keep an eye on them because sometimes it just takes a couple minutes and sometimes it can take up to five minutes. Okay. And you wanna kinda stir them every, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. so. I pulled these out. I am going to put them on a paper towel so that they can cool off off this tray. So I'm gonna let those cool and then I'm going to put them in my tart pan. You want your tart bottom completely covered with breadcrumbs. For my pastry, I'm gonna need two cups flour, a half cup of butter, a quarter cup plus two teaspoons water, one teaspoon brown sugar, one teaspoon salt. I've got my flour. I'm gonna sprinkle my brown sugar across the top, my salt, and I'm going to put my mixer back on and then I'm gonna start adding my wet ingredients. I'm gonna let this mix for a second just to get that sugar and salt mixed in the flour. Okay guys, I have my room temperature butter in here. I'm gonna add my water. Let this mix on a higher speed until it forms a ball that cleans the bowl. So this is done. I did end up having to sprinkle in a little bit more water because it's super dry in our house. And so sometimes if your dough's not come together, what I do, you can see my hand is still wet. I just get my hand wet and sprinkle that little bit of moisture on my hands onto the, onto the dough and it brings it right together. I'm gonna pull my dough out. It's super soft feeling. Um, so you have gluten in your dough because we did mix it. So we are going to set it on some plastic wrap here and we are going to let it rest. So take this, set it on the counter behind you, and just kind of forget about it for a little bit while we're making our apple filling. For our apple tart recipe, you're gonna need five to six apples. These guys are a little small, so probably six. Half of a lemon juiced. One tablespoon brown sugar. We're gonna sprinkle this on here and just kind of give them a stir because we don't want them to start changing colors. I probably should have done that in the pan, but you know, I'm trying to go authentic the way he did it in the recipe, guys. I'm going to throw my apples into my pan with one tablespoon of butter. And I got this on a medium heat. So we're just gonna toast these guys around and get them kind of, kind of getting some brown on them for 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, we're gonna add one tablespoon of brown sugar and then an optional ingredient is either one tablespoon of either rum or whiskey. 
I don't have either one. All right, guys, it has been 10 minutes. I'm gonna add my brown sugar and give this a mix. Get everybody coated in that brown sugar. So we're just gonna lightly coat this until that brown sugar has dissolved and starts to caramelize. This is also the point where you would add your rum or whiskey. And to flambe it, you would, you would pour it in. You would get a lighter and you would light it on fire and it turns blue, it's beautiful. If you wanna watch Lionel make it on CCW Cooking, check it out, it's absolutely gorgeous. I actually took a picture of it on my phone last night. Um, and if you have a gas fire, you can tip it till the fumes ignite. It's absolutely beautiful. Make sure you step back when you do it though. All right, I'm gonna let these go for probably two or three more minutes. All right, this is for the custard filling. You're gonna need one cup of cream. You're gonna need one tablespoon of brown sugar, one teaspoon salt, a half of a tablespoon of vanilla, four eggs. Another optional ingredient would be another tablespoon of whiskey or rum in your custard. And to top everything off, after you get your apples and custard into your tart, you sprinkle it with cinnamon. While these apples are still cooking, I'm gonna make my custard. Gonna add my cream, my salt, brown sugar, vanilla, and four eggs. All right, guys, I'm just gonna mix my custard. And Lionel also said, do not use an electric mixer for this. So by hand it is. All right, I'm just gonna set this to the side and go get my pastry and get that rolling out. All right, guys, I've got my pastry here. It is still super soft. All right, I'm just gonna get this guy rolled out. I'm gonna roll this out until it is the same size as my tart pan. All right, let's measure. All right, here we go. Kind of scooch it in. This dough is super easy to work with. I've seen people do this. They just push it down on the top. Yay, I could, could have used my rolling pin, I guess, too. I'm just gonna flatten my sides a little bit more. Lionel use a clothespin. I don't have one that's clean enough to use on food. So I'm gonna use my little clippy that I use for like chips and stuff. And he just kind of went around the edge and did this little decorative crimp. So I am going to place my apples in here. You'd think with cooking them for 10 minutes, they would be super soft, but they're actually not. They're, they still have some texture to them. Scrape out all that caramel, look goodness. So then pour this on. And whoa, I think I have a little extra, guys. <laughs> That's okay, it's all right. All right, now, to make it all beautiful, a little bit of salmon. All right, guys, so this is gonna go into a 430 degree oven for 40 minutes. I do have a cookie sheet underneath because obviously I overfilled it a little bit, so it's probably gonna, you know, expand. All right, let's take this to the oven. All right, guys, this looks super delicious. It did get a little bit dark, but honestly, I think I put too many apples in, but I love a full pie, right? You've seen my American apple pie. It was pretty full. All right. I'm gonna let this cool till it is completely room temperature. 
Okay guys, let's do this. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can hear that crust. Let me get my, get my mic closer to this. Can you guys hear that crust? That is amazing. Ooh, all right. All right guys. The crust is so crisp and tender and flaky. The apples, they're just like little pillows of heaven. It's, it's pretty cool, guys. It's pretty cool. This is a new one, guys. All right, if you have never tried a French apple tart or a French tart, period, give this guy a whirl. Pretty easy, simple ingredients, but the flavor is really good. From my kitchen to yours, see you next time from Cooking on the Farm. Don't forget to check out the description below with CCW Cooking. All right, bye guys, God bless. 14. All right guys, I'm gonna, whoo, I'm gonna splash all over myself. Oh, like I said. It did get a little bit dark. Salt. <laughs> One of my own hairs. You put it to your face too fast. <laughs> Sorry. Let me spit it back out. <laughs> that sucks. Oh my word. Alright, bye guys. Thumbs up. Really? Speak. What?